In the past, I've made the fish popper, the jalapeno fish popper. Today's the big version, using a big pepper for a crappy chili relleno, lots of cheese, great flavor, and a special guest from Camp Chef making Skooky. Oh, yeah. From the field, and the water, to the kitchen, and the table. It's Hunt, Fish, Cook with your hosts, Scott Lacey, the sporting chef, and Donnie McElvoy, one of the Southeast's favorite outdoorsmen. Hey, in the Hunt Fish Cook Kitchen, I'm gonna show you what I like to do with leftover fish, and Steve McGrath from Camp Chef Stove here has what I assume is gonna be the envy of anyone who's ever spent <laughs> any time in a duck blind, camping. Man, Steve, what is this deal here? Well, it is just what it looks like, a camp oven. Uh, it's propane powered. You can bake, cook anywhere you are, duck blind, in the outback, wherever you're at. We're gonna bake some cookies today. I, I see a show coming in the near future here for a Hunt Fish Cook Revisited. Now, my relationship with Camp Chef goes back a long way. When I had a show called Sporting Chef, um, we did a show in a duck blind, cooking in a duck blind with a Camp Chef stove going back 10, 12 years ago. So been a big fan of their product. If you want to know more about Camp Chef, we'll tell you more about it, but campchef.com. What are you going to cook? I, I kind of, I, I gave a little intro saying it's a skooky, skooky. but. You've got people wondering, what is a skooky? They're a skooky? hanging around, mouth watering, salivating ready. So we've got a skillet, cast iron skillet that we've done for years. I think I can safely say that the women at home are saying that's a cute skillet. It is, okay, you said it. <laughs> cute skillet it is. Seven in a little seven inch skillet, but a skooky is a skillet cookie and that's what we're gonna do here today is we've got a nice chocolate chip cookie. You can do it pretty much any recipe you want, but we've got ch chocolate chip cookie today. We'll do that right here in this skillet. And an oven, of course, and over here, um, Steve, I don't know how you feel about leftover cooked fish, but what normally happens with my leftover cooked fish is it kind of works its way into the back of the refrigerator and then I throw it away about three or four days later. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, today I'm going to make a crappie chili relleno. Think of it as a big fish popper, cheese on the inside. First thing you got to do is get some peppers like this. When they start off, you want to get the get them blistered on the outside. Mm -hmm. So I put them onto that Camp Chef grill box, got it nice and hot, blistered them on the outside. I'm gonna peel the skin off this. Then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to stuff it all in there. I've got some orange cheese. You know, it's gonna be really good flavor. It's gonna be crunchy on the outside. There's a whole lot going on today. Okay, we got cooking, we got skookies, we got Steve McGrath from Camp Chef. Stick around, you're watching Hunt Fish Cook. Whether you're cooking out or camping in the great outdoors, you need a Camp Chef modular cooking system. It doesn't matter if you're grilling, frying, or even smoking. Nothing cooks better or faster. Plus, when your power goes out, your Camp Chef makes a perfect emergency kitchen. Camp Chef modular cooking systems are also easy to customize with a complete line of cooking accessories. When the outdoors demands high performance from your portable camp kitchen, don't just settle. Choose Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. You know, I never know how my day is going to end. But I always know how my day is going to begin. Wolverine, boots, shoes, apparel, and gear. Relentless by nature. Welcome back to Hunt, Fish, Cook. Now, before the break, I took the Pasilla pepper, there's the before picture, and an Anaheim pepper, which, by the way, if you don't want to go through the blistering of the pepper stage, you can get those canned whole uh, Ortega-type chilies that you get in a can and just split them open and start stuffing. They're good to go, and you don't really have to go through this, but if you've got a Camp Chef grill box, it's the way to go. So, you want to take the skin off once you've, once you've got it blistered like that, goes into the bag, you blister it off, and I'm gonna keep working on these guys here while Steve, Camp Chef Steve, starts talking about skookies, and Steve. I, really I'm, I'm working on the sweet stuff. You know, you, you can handle that main course. I'll, I'll handle the sweet. Go. Cookie dough. So, 
It's cookie like we talked about, it's just a skillet cookie. And here we've got chocolate chip cookie dough, very plain and simple, but you can basically do anything you want with it. You'll do about a half a cup. You can see I'm, I'm spreading it thin. That's the idea you want because it will uh, rise just like a cookie. So spread it all the way to the edges, fairly thin. And uh, we've preheated our oven here to about 375, 400 degrees. I'm gonna slide that one in there and get the other one going. But we've also done, you know, you can do pizzas, you can do quesadillas, you can do all sorts of things with these, these little skillets. They're not just cookies, they're not just dessert makers, they're anything you want them to be. I think that could be your next commercial. Sounds like a good time. There's a good one. So we'll slide that one in there. It's gonna be about the same time you'd use at home, so about eight to 10 minutes, but the camp oven, some of you may be wondering exactly how this works and what it is. Like I mentioned, it's a propane camp oven. It runs off a one pound bottle. If you're using just the oven alone, like we are right here, it'll do about eight hours, actually. So it's really efficient. The walls are very well insulated. It's got the auto start ignition on both of the brass burners on top, as well as the oven down below. It's just a sweet little setup, and it's just that easy. Okay. To get you caught up, you take the peppers, you split them open. See this Anaheim pepper here? You want to take it and just take your knife right up to the very top and just give it a little split and take those seeds out. Now, if you don't mind the heat, you can leave these seeds in here, but this is where a little bit of the heat's going to be. And an Anaheim pepper is a very, very mild pepper anyway. So I've got one here. This is a pasilla pepper. It's stuffed. I've got some leftover cooked uh, crappie that's in there, and it could be any kind of fish. There's cheese. I've got cheddar cheese and jack cheese. And if you're not real careful with it, very often these things split open and it can be kind of frustrating. So what I like to do is just take a little skewer or a toothpick and go ahead and put that right in there and keeps it all together. Um, if you're really, really good at it, you're only going to split it about maybe a third of the way down. And of course, if you overcook your pepper, then you've got this real soft pepper and it doesn't really work all that well. Um, again, the canned or take type whole roasted chilies work well. So now's the frying part. Over here, I've got the Camp Chef Dutch oven. Uh, what's our temperature on that? Because I want about 350, no more than 360. We're, we're looking a little over that, so we'll turn it down. So we'll turn that down. That'll cool off for a little, little bit. 350, 360. Let me season this up. I've got some masa flour. Uh, this is what's going to make it crunchy on the outside. Um, masa flour, this bag right here, by the way, if you buy this $3 bag of masa flour, um, this is going to give it kind of a tortilla tamale taste on the outside. Um, I use this for br uh, fish breading all the time in place of flour. It's a $3 bag. You can make tamales with it when you're not frying fish or chili relleno. Egg whites, egg yolks. <laughs> it's important that the, egg, <laughs> that the egg whites are cold. And you just want to basically whip up these egg yolks. Steve, I want you to pour those egg yolks into the egg whites and give them a, a firm thrashing. And I'm going to season this with the High Mountain Seasoning Gourmet Fish Seasoning. This is a great seasoning. Steve, you've used it a bunch Very of times. Good. We're big fans of High Mountain Seasoning. Check them out at highmountainjerky.com. I'm gonna put some of that into the batter and I'm gonna put even more over here. And Steve, your skooky is, is doing its thing. It we smells good? that way. All right. Yep, we're headed that way. All right, so you take the pepper, roasted stuffed pepper, you rub it in this uh, masa flour, and what this does is it makes the egg batter stick to the relleno, and that goes in here, and then our oil. You say our oil's still a little warm? I think we've brought it down. We're, we're down closer to 350 now. All right. So I'm going to take this and gently let it slide into the oil for a little chili relleno. And while that's doing its thing, we're going to tidy up here. We've got our skooky in the oven. I've got Steve McGrath from Camp Chef Dutch Oven. And what are we calling this unit here? Camp Oven. Camp Oven. I'm Scott Laysap, the Sporting Chef, and you are watching Hunt Fish Cook. Stumped on something new to do with your wild game and fish? Go to HuntFishCook.com and problem solved. I've got some crappie chili relleno. Steve McGrath from Camp Chef has the aforementioned skooky in that Camp Chef oven. Man, how about some ice cream for your skooky? Well, that nice warm skooky, look at that thing, ready to go. We'll put a little caramel and chocolate on it. I'm gonna put some uh, orange zest 
You got chocolate. You know, and the thing we got to do with that, we need to get it consumed before Donnie gets back. <laughs> because, uh, of course, once Donnie gets here, there will be no more scoogie. I'm going to put a little, this is just some chipotle mayonnaise right here on the chili relleno. Great way to use leftover fish. Don't forget to check out the website. Don't forget to check out Camp Chef for some really incredible, cool stuff. You can build your own outdoor kitchen. Your little patio this big, man, you can do anything and everything with Camp Chef. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Scott Layseth, the sporting chef for Donnie Mac, and you have been watching Hunt's Fish Cook.